welcome welcome my dear friends myself professor dr rajendra deshpande would like to welcome you all in my ayurveda academy youtube channel as you know that i am md in ayurvedic medicine that is kaya chikitsa and md in ayurvedic physiology that is kriya shari my dear friends today's topic is again related with the muscle physiology since last many days i am continuously taking the lectures of physiology and that is specifically muscle physiology so today we are going to discuss about the properties of skeletal muscle all these videos may be little bit short 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 but these are very important videos for your examination purpose and also of course for your practice so this topic is related with the saq short answer question it may be asked for five or uh, three marks okay so let us start to discuss about the properties of the skeletal muscle as you know there are three types of muscle one is a uh, skeletal muscle which are related with your hands and legs okay that are also called as a striated muscle then there is a cardiac muscle related with your heart and third category is what is that category yes visceral muscles so three types of muscles as you very well know that skeletal muscle cardiac muscle and the visceral muscle visceral means your intestines the muscles related with your stomach small intestine large intestine that are all called as a visceral muscle but today we are going to talk about properties of only skeletal muscle okay of course many properties are similar in all the categories first property is excitability number 2 contractility and number 3 muscle tone so you must know the minimum these three excitability contractility and muscle tone these names because this will be for three marks write down the properties of skeletal muscle three marks for example one mark for each excite excite means what is excitation whenever you give, give any stimulus like for example the commonest stimulus is electrical stimulus for example the nerve conduction as you know the motor system is there whenever you want to get some action with your hands like contraction relaxation contract now for elbow contraction relaxation contract bicep tricep muscle all they are contracting relaxing at all the times okay so where from the signal is coming it is from the brain and that is called as a motor nervous system or it is also called as a descending tract huh? and descending tract as you know there are two categories umn and lmn upper motor neuron and lower motor neuron but whenever the signals come from the brain through the nerve and through the motor nerve of course the neuromuscular junction then there is a synapse then there is a neurotransmitter and after the stimulus huh? stimulus means by which the muscles get in some action and that first action is a excitation because resting membrane potential changes into the action potential and then the commonest action is a contraction and relaxation as you know contraction and relaxation okay and there is a muscle tone muscle tone is very important for the normal human being uh, because it maintains your posture and the balance of your body okay so let us discuss some details about this excitability definition reaction or the response of a tissue to the irritation or stimulation i don't think every time it's a irritation type because in your mind irritation is always pain but it is not like that pain but stimulation it may be the chemical stimulation physical stimulation electrical stimulation electromagnetic stimulation any type of the stimulation is there and then there is a physiochemical changes physio some physical changes and some chemical changes in the muscle what is stimulus stimulus is the change in environment for example i am uh, at the moment i am in a uh, comfortable room temperature but all of a sudden there is earthquake that is a stimulus for more my, my body if it is a too much hot waves are coming to uh, near to me that is also a type of stimulus so any change in the environment uh, is called as a stimulus stimulus is an agent stimulus is a agent or influence or the act for example i am teaching you so teaching you so teaching is also a stimulus to your brain because you are getting some knowledge and brain cells are changing their composition and structure okay so my teaching is also stimulus for your study purpose huh? so stimulus is an agent it's a influence it's a act which causes the response in an excitable tissue here we are talking about skeletal muscle so there will be change in the skeletal muscle okay now excitability graph is very important huh? graph what is graph which demonstrate the exact relationship 
between the strength of stimulus and the duration of stimulus. I have the another video, separate video, because that excitability curve is a separate question for your examination purpose. So please check my the playlist of Physiology and Kriya Sharif, the name of the playlist, and there you will get this excitability curve. How is the uh, force of stimulus affects the, uh, the response, strength and duration of a stimulus. That graph is another, that topic is another. You please check another video, okay? Now, next is a contractility. What is contractility? Contraction, response of the skeletal muscle to a stimulus. What is contraction? What is the definition? It is the internal events, internal events of the muscle with change in either length or change in tension. Sometimes there is no change in the muscle length. That is called as an isometric contraction. Iso means the same. The uh, metric means the length. Length of the muscle remains same. Only the tone changes. That is called as isometric contraction. Another, when there is a tone remains the same, but the length changes. So tone remains the same. Same means iso. Isotonic contraction will be also there. So these type of the contractions are occurring in skeletal muscle. Here are the further uh, little bit more repetition. The two types based on the change in the length of muscle either or change in the tension of the muscle. So some are the isotonic contraction. Iso means the same. Tone remains the same. And some is the isometric. See, contraction, relaxation. Contraction, contraction, relaxation. Contraction, relaxation. Huh? So well, let us see about this uh, isotonic contraction. Tension remains the same and the length of muscle fiber is changed, altered. Okay. Simple example is flexion of arm. Can you see my flexion of arm? This is isotonic contraction. Tone remains the same, only the length of the muscle fiber is changing. Shortening of the muscle fiber occurs, but the tension or the sorry, uh, particular tension does not change in that particular muscle. So simple flexion of the arm is an example of isotonic contraction. Next, isometric contraction. I am repeatedly telling you, you must remember the word iso. Iso is the same. Iso is equal to same. And metric means length. Length of the muscle fiber remains the same and tension is increased. Another, you can see the example, pulling any heavy weight object. <laughs> Weightlifting. <laughs> Weightlifting. This is isometric, but the tone, force is increased. Uh, tone or force is increased when muscles become stiff and strained with increased tension, but the length does not change. Weightlifting is an example of isometric contraction. Okay, next. Simple muscle curve is another example topic. Simple contraction of the muscle is called as a simple muscle twitch. And the graphical recording of this uh, simple muscle twitch is called as a simple muscle curve. Okay, we are discussing the properties of skeletal muscle. Now, the force of contraction, how it is affected? Force of contraction, force of contraction. Number one, what is the strength of stimulus, power of the stimulus? Number two, number of stimulus, one stimulus, two stimulus, third time stimulus. So that will affect the force of contraction. Temperature also affects the force of contraction and a cold temperature, hot temperature, and the load, how much load, 5 kg weightlifting, 10 kg weightlifting, that also changes the force of contraction. Now, next, last property of the skeletal muscle, I am describing in a very short manner because this is a question of SAQ. What is muscle tone? Definition is also asked in the Viva OC. Continuous and partial contraction continuous and partial contraction in the skeletal muscle is called as the muscle tone. So muscle tone, that means this particular contraction with certain degree of tension. This is a protective mechanism. Our All the muscles of the hands and legs, they are having some normal muscle tone and it should be there. It should be there because that is useful for our uh, any responses like fight and flight responses. That muscle tone is always required. If your muscles 
don't have the muscle tone that is called as a flaccid muscles and they are not good for the normal living of our purpose so muscle tone is normal muscle tone is there but now we will see maintenance of the muscle tone the maintenance of the muscle tone in the skeletal uh, part is by neurogenic there is some nervous control brain control is there spinal cord control is there it why why that muscle tone is developed because the, this is a chemistry continuous discharge of the impulses continuous discharge from of impulses from gamma motor neurons this is something a little bit different uh, mechanism some another video i will prepare in detail about this gamma motor neurons that is reflex huh? in anterior gray horn of spinal cord you just remember this definition how that muscle tone is developed maintained continuous discharge of impulse continuous discharge of impulse from where from gamma motor neurons and where are these gamma motor these nerve filament where are these nerves are there in anterior gray horn of spinal cord so spinal cord is most important for maintaining the muscle tone do you understand because this is very important this is concerned with your reflexes reflex arc this mechanism is there the gamma motor neurons in a spinal cord they are also having control superpower from the brain so ultimately muscle tone is controlled by both the regions from spinal cord as well as from the brain so both are responsible for maintaining our normal muscle tone okay in cardiac muscle there is another uh, mechanism of maintenance of uh, tone this is not related with the nerves this is ex purely myogenic related with only muscles muscle tone is maintained by muscle itself not nervous control that is muscles themselves control their tone that this cardiac muscle tone is not under nervous control this must be remember because this will be asked for mcq multiple choice question so can you see the cursor multiple choice question skeletal muscle control is neurogenic but cardiac muscle control is not neurogenic this is myogenic in smooth muscle the tone is also myogenic but that depends on the calcium level and the number of cross bridges uh, in smooth muscle means visceral muscles for example uh, uh, muscles of the stomach muscles of the intestine how that muscle tone is maintained this is with relation to the calcium control calcium levels are maintained and number of cross bridges actin and myosin filament they are doing this job for maintaining the muscle tone okay there are two pathological aspect in this muscle tone one is called as a hypertonia which is seen in the upper motor neuron hypertonia hyper means excess tone is more than the normal that is pathological okay hypertonia in umn lesion for example and hypotonia less tone of the muscle in of course the skeletal muscle in lower motor neuron lesion lesion means damage lesion is nothing but the damage upper motor neuron damage lower motor neuron damage i will give you the simple examples what is upper motor neuron this is a part of the descending tract motor control from brain to periphery from brain to periphery from brain to the spinal cord this is called as upper part upper motor neuron and whenever the fibers nerves coming from the spinal cord to the hands or to the legs they are called as a lower motor neuron from brain up to the spinal cord that nerve segment is called as a upper motor neuron so there is a concern with the brain mainly and what is no lower motor neuron from spinal cord here from the vertebrae from a vertebral columns from spinal cord, uh, cord the uh, nerves are coming to the hands and legs they are the lower motor neuron the best example of upper motor neuron damage to the brain you know very well hemiplegia their loss of uh, muscle power you know the hemiplegia paralysis the patient is having problem with the brain because there may be thrombosis there may be embolism there may be hemorrhage subarachnoid hemorrhage so these are the three important causes of hemiplegia that is called as a upper motor neuron lesion and the lower motor neuron is uh, example is a sciatic nerve damage that is a sciatica or there may be poliomyelitis these are the examples of lmn so in paralysis patient you will see hypertonia more stiffness will be there 
and in the polio patients, you will see the hypotonia. Okay. So I think you have understood the three important properties of skeletal muscle. That is excitability, contractility, and of course, the muscle tone. I hope that you are getting uh, interesting information for your exam purpose and or for your practice also. So you please, I request that you like this video, share this video, and don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel and also press the bell button icon so you get the information about my shorts. There I am making a lot of uh, short videos. They are called as a short or shorts in YouTube. A lot of Ayurvedic medicines that I am describing in the shorts. So please also see all these short videos of on my channel. Only one minute. Only one minute you have to spend every day. Every day. Okay. So I wish you all the best. Take care and see you in the next video. Thank you very much.